so we have finished this absorption distribution metabolism expression why is all this important hmm. we saw this drug getting absorbed from this uh, uh, gi root it is getting metabolized here and getting excreted from here and it was getting distributed to high flow organs like heart kidney etc but the capacity of storage was low and or it was getting uh, distributed to low flow organs but high capacity like muscle fat etc why is this all important because all this will change what all this will change drugs concentration and why concentration is important why concentration is important ultimately this is the one which will have effect this effect can be therapeutic effect or it can be adverse effect or it can be toxic effect so it all depends on concentration so there is a relation between this absorption distribution metabolism excretion with concentration and this has relation with effect but in practice what will happen can you um, means major distribution like uh, by seeing in body drug is getting distributed here it is going to muscle more it is going to fat more no but what we have is access to this concentration we have access to this concentration we can measure concentration in various body fluids like urine plasma or you can measure in portal vein or in limb or in breast milk or in uh, fetal circulation etc but what i mean to say is you have access to body fluids where you can measure concentration by measuring this concentration and using timing of drug you can calculate the absorption how much got it got absorbed how much it got distribution so this relation between con this relation between knowing this ADME with concentration with effect this relationship is known as clinical pharmacokinetics clinical pharmacokinetics in this clinical pharmacokinetics we have various parameters by which we do different calculations so that we can come to know uh, absorb ADME as well as concentration and later effect so in absorption we have already seen one pharmacokinetic parameter that is bioavailability we saw bioavailability as area under curve overall divided by area under curve IV we saw one more formula fractional absorption into 1 minus ER in previous classes we have seen this so I will not go into duty we have also seen in distribution that volume of distribution this is also an important PK parameter in this we saw vd is equal to q by c and this metabolism and excretion we did not see anything if you remember in last class i said metabolism there is irreversible loss of drugs activity in excretion the drug is getting physically lost from the body so both of this together is termed as elimination and in this elimination we have pk parameters to be measured like clearance and t half and various other things we will see so you have to be very clear with these three things one is clearance one is elimination and one is excretion both these things look similar but there is a difference excretion and metabolism together is known as elimination and clearance is one major how you can measure one of the major of elimination so we'll see one by one we have seen uh, this f we have seen that is bioavailability volume of distribution we have seen we have to see clearance and tr so most important clinical pk parameters already said that bioavailability vd this have been discussed and we have to discuss these two in bioavailability uh, we saw these two formulas one is uh, this area under curve overall by area under curve iv in our first class and we saw one more formula fractional absorption into one minus this hepatic extraction ratio uh, we, here we saw this in pre-systemic metabolism in class number two and in first class again we saw vd is equal to quantity of drug divided by this plasma concentration q by c and we have to see this now we will see what is clearance and elimination t half clearance uh, in general pharmacology the definitions are very important clearance means 
the amount of plasma that is totally freed from the drug see it is the uh, clearance of a drug is the theoretical volume of plasma from which the drug is completely removed in unit time i will show you uh, this with the example consider this is 100 ml of plasma consider this is 100 ml of plasma okay this is 100 ml of plasma and in this 100 ml of plasma we have consider this is 5 mg of drug 1 2 3 4 5 we have 5 mg of drug this 5 mg of drug is present in 100 ml of plasma what i will do one thing is we will remove we will remove this 5 mg 5 mg whole is removed say in one hour if i remove this whole 5 mg in one hour what will happen now this plasma was there this whole plasma now is this whole plasma is now clear there is no drug in this so 100 ml of plasma got cleared in how much time 100 ml of plasma got cleared in one hour so this is our clearance we will write clearance like this now see one more case we will see one more case if instead of 5 mg i will remove say 2.5 mg 2.5 mg i remove 2.5 mg again in say one hour so what will happen this was our plasma 2.5 mg of drug got cleared and 2.5 mg is still here so 2.5 mg 1 2 and this half 2.5 mg is there and this half of the plasma got cleared because 2.5 got cleared from this plasma and half is having drug so how much plasma got cleared here in this case the clearance is 50 ml half got cleared in how much time in one hour so in both of these case use we saw what is clearance here it was 100 ml per hour here it is 50 ml per hour now what is this um, what is this 5 mg that was getting removed per hour or 2.5 mg that was getting removed per hour this is termed as rate of drug elimination so here the rate of drug elimination is 5 mg per hour uh, rate of drug elimination we say amount of drug removed per unit of time here the rate of drug elimination how much we removed we removed 2.5 mg per hour so if you know this uh, if you see here in this first case 5 mg was there in 100 ml so what is this 5 mg in 100 ml this is our concentration 5 mg in 100 ml is a concentration so if you know concentration and clearance you can calculate rate of drug elimination see this simple case what was our concentration our concentration was 5 mg in how much ml in 100 ml and how much clearance was our, how much was our clearance 100 ml of clearance 100 ml per hour so if we what i was saying if we know concentration and clearance we will we can know rate of drug elimination see 5 mg was there in 100 ml and 100 ml of plasma got cleared in one hour so if you simply multiply this concentration into clearance see ml ml got concerned 100 100 got concerned so we got 5 mg per hour our rate of drug elimination similarly in this case uh, what was our concentration again concentration was 5 mg in 100 ml and how much plasma got cleared 50 ml so the rate of drug elimination will be 2.5 mg per hour 
so we got one important formula that is rate of drug elimination is equal to clearance into concentration so this is most important formula to remember uh, and it is not very difficult to remember very easy to remember okay so we saw in elimination we can measure two things one was rate of drug elimination one more was clearance and rate of drug elimination you should be clear with both of these rate of drug elimination this is mass per unit time mass of what mass means drug the mass of drug milligram of drug per unit of time like milligram per minute milligram per hour etc so this is rate of elimination okay what is clearance clearance is volume per volume per unit time volume of what volume of plasma it is expressed in ml per hour ml or liters per hour or ml per minute etc so hope these two are clear and we also found out very easy formula that is rate of drug elimination is equal to clearance into concentration this is not very difficult to remember if you applied the concept in of last slide you can easily remember so by using this if we rearrange this we can calculate clearance like clearance is equal to rate of elimination divided by this concentration so we can use this formula again i would like to emphasize that elimination what i said it includes both metabolism and excretion so the drug is getting cleared by metabolism from liver as well as other organs the drug is getting cleared by excretion from kidney as well as other organs so the clearance will be clearance from this uh, renal clearance from this liver as well as clearance from other organs all this leading to if we combine all this this sum total is known as clearance total okay